All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. And today, uh, I'm going to show you what I've been up to on my real world here. So, so uh, how's everybody doing out there? It is 61 degrees in the middle of December. I'm loving it. So... <laughs> It's warm out. Um, yeah. So let's get started here. I'm going to show a brief. Um, this is just, this is just going to be more or less. We're going to do some building, get some things done here. But uh, Paul Rosebush, um, uh, hello. Great videos. I'm quite new to Linux and mind test, though. I'm addicted already. Cool. Is there a way to copy and paste things I built? Why, yes, there is. And no, but I'll show you the easy way of doing it. So what I've done so far is I've changed the driveway again. No, really? And um, we have this house. As you notice, the forest is missing. So over here, I made a little, um, little driveway. As it goes down here, and all the jungle trees... Have been removed and I'm replacing them with um, whatever that tree is a birch so when you come down to this house now and jump over the chicken look at that look how that just nicely cleaned up I'm gonna be doing some stuff back here so that goat so that and I'm probably gonna change these stairs because they don't match anything. But, using the clear cut command, I moved all that. And as you can tell, the heliport has been moved. Because this area is going to be expanded upon. What I did was, I had the, um, so the jungle trees went all the way up to the line here. So I put a road through here. However, I went too high. And it clipped all the trees and made them look unnatural. So then I tried uh, using the uh, chainsaw <laughs> to, to chainsaw them, as you can see here with this little thing here, just a makeshift power generator so I could charge the uh, chainsaw up, and things didn't go too well. So what we have is I started working on this area here, flattening it out. Because this is all usable area. I mean, I could really make something with this. And still keep this crop of uh, rock here, a crop of rock. Because I kind of like it. But it's kind of unusable for anything else. But if you use your imagination, you might be able to do something pretty cool with this area. So, yeah. So what that is, I was playing with these. I don't know if that chainsaw will work on this stuff. Because when I went crazy, I love that tree though. What is that? I planted it. It is a bald cypress. So the chainsaw, you're supposed to be able to hit a tree and it doesn't work on these. Huh. I'm going to have to remove it the old fashioned way. But I do like the, um, I do like that branch. So I am going to save that. Where can I find, I don't want to do that one. So if, you, if we come over here, the chainsaw is really cool. It just takes out the whole tree. That's kind of neat. There you go. That's all it does. It doesn't seem to work on bushes, though. Hmm. So, that's what that does. And I charge it with that. So, let us go back. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. I've messed this area up a little bit. I have to do something about the way of getting down here. I have to make that look a little cooler 
But let's go down to the house. Look at this. So this way goes back down to um, our little bar area over by the swimming pool. But I kind of changed that. So I have to make this look more pretty. And I think I know how. We're going to work on that. But I'm back over here because I'm wasting a lot of time. I always do this. So this is right here. And the idea here is that this is going to be all plants. Simbicon had a had an idea about um, that the bottom part of the house should be all glassed in, make it kind of like a um, a plant thing. And that is a great idea. But this is going to go even back farther. So I was playing with this about 3 o'clock in the morning. Of course I was. I need to get out. So this... If I move... You see, I, I kind of like that, being back. But being back only by one. So this this came over here because I didn't want this whole grassy area. So now on this side... It kind of looks better if I would have just kept like a, a bridge and then kept everything underneath. So there's going to be a boat landing here that'll come in. And it loses it right there. That's probably why. Huh. But that would have been a cool like bridge across there. But uh, nevertheless... So we need to make this area look habitable and livable. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and I am going to um, cut that. I'll show you why I want this. Nice. So there is going to be stairs that come down here. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But this is a technique for here. So what we're going to do is we're going to brainstorm some ideas. The reason why I'm doing this is I, should, I will show you. Oh, I can't do it. Yeah, I can. So it creates a block over here. I can leave that. That doesn't look that bad. It opens up the area. So the kitchen's going to be moved. So what you do is we're going to go one and then two. We are going to move this. Oh, I said I was going to show how to copy and paste. Move by one. So when you do something like that, it move, when you put this little half block, it puts the glass halfway out. And that looks really cool. Plus it gives that step effect. Like I know what I'm doing. Uh-huh. And I got to do something about this floor change. I could take the wood all the way through. But the wood's a little bit too much. So I might change everything except for leave... See, I got, I, I have to figure that out, but this turned out pretty cool. So let's get rid of this because this was originally going to be the kitchen. So we need to do that. I had something in that fridge too, and it allowed me to, to move it. There was a bone in there. Okay, we know about the bald Cyrus. We need to make some room here. Put the fridge over here. So, let's get rid of all this. B 
because I, I do want the kitchen up here. But I want to open all this up. So this is going to be... You know, I've been trying to find a place for the dining room table. Hmm. I don't know, I just messed this up completely. That's the hardest thing about doing this is when you build when you build the house first and then you do the floor plan. Okay. That looks kind of cool though. I think I'm going to leave this. What can be done here is I can actually cut a half block to make that up. So let us work on, those are my two doggies. So we want to continue this down and one, two, three, we're going to take these stairs since I can't figure out This ain't working. Why isn't that working? Because I did it. I didn't do it right. That'll work. And then take this. But you see, this has to go the opposite way. The whole idea is, is that they, they'll come down. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm losing my voice already. Nice. And I'll be honest, I don't even know if this is going to work. But you see, no, I want that one. Is that? That's one above. That can't do that. That's right. Okay. Because this is going to go down. And, you know, I better show that, that cut, copy, and paste deal. We can do something like that. So let's say I want to I want to move this. Now in Minecraft, I believe they actually have a command for copying and pasting. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole plant area here. We're going to put a, a pole here, and because we want this whole area, we're going to put a pole here. So if you have world edit and what world edit is, is these commands over here, world edit. Now this is the, the, G, the GUI one, but you can also do this from command line. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of command line. So we can sit here and make cylinders, pyramids, anything we want, but there's a thing called copy and move, but that's going to be a little bit different than what I believe Paul's talking about. But we have a thing called save and load. That's what we're going to be doing here. So let us go back and we map out the area that we want. We're going to call this one one and this one two. So anything inside this box is going to be um, copied. Anything that I put here, it, it, it will be copied. We'll put a door here just to prove that theorem. And... So we have one and two. Now notice that the way that it's laid out, because it's gonna it's gonna paste this wherever I put it exactly like that. So here's my one, there's two, and it's even gonna do these poles. So you can go back in and you can take out the pole, but 
we won't. So you could do this for an entire building. So we're gonna we have our, our spaces marked one and two. Go back in the save and load, and we're gonna put this as test one. We're gonna save it. Boom. And it said uh, warning the schematic ex excessive free space will be misaligned when allocating or loaded new. That's because it's going to displace everything. So we have that now. And we cleared that. And we're going to get rid of these poles. So that was test one. Nice. So let's go out here. And we're actually going to copy it up here. So wherever it copies, and it's very important to put, we want that to be the one, because if you do it lower, which I'll show. So if I just say one, and then go back into that menu and allocate test one, it's gonna drop it down lower. So you always put it where you want it to go. So we want it above ground, so there's one. Now there, we have to reallocate. Boom, there it is. So now I can go in and we have test one and we can load. And there you go. So it, it always, it always puts it in the exact same way that you copied it. So you have to be, you have to, I thought I got rid of all this snow. Huh. So you have to be very um, cautious about where you're gonna do something like that. And you can see it, it did everything. It did the door, it did the planters, it did everything. So that's how, that's how that works. Now you can copy an entire building and move the entire building the same way. Um, I also do it for patio furniture. And I, um, you know, why not? Let's go over here. And uh, we'll put this one here, call this one. And I believe I have one called patio one. Patio one, allocate. There it is. One, load. Boom. And you can save these. Why does it keep? There we go. So you could save these and you can even hand them out. You So... In the in the mind test directory, there's going to be a folder called scheme uh, schemes. Look at that! It 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 it's floating. Look, ma, no hands. So you you can. Um, I've actually done it with the castles. We want to make this look, you know, nice. Why am I even? bothering but so you could say because uh the reason why i do that with this is because there's so many different panels and everything that i use to create that that it kind of uh, is a pain to recreate it so i can make this and then just change whatever element that i want so that's how that works that is our version of copy and paste somebody might have a, a different now you can take uh, we can put some sinks here, except for that one. We can take this and we can, we can, why does that do that? It doesn't matter. So we can take this area here and we can, um, we can copy this region and move it. 10. So you can move this region and paste it that way, but it kind of doesn't work that well. And I was going to try that and try the road, try to rotate, but I can't figure that one out. Rotate, flip, transpose. We want to rotate. 90 degrees in the look direction. Oh, cool. 
That's a failure. So that is how that works. Now we're going to um, get rid of all this. Did it, what did it do? And we're going to set these nodes to air. Because you know what? Boom. All gone. So I keep doing that. So that is our copy and our copy and paste. And it, you can see I didn't do it all. But we'll leave that there. About a year from now, I'll be going back there going, where did this come from? Why, why was that there? So let's go back over to the house and try to save this mess. You know, I should have brought the third floor over. I don't want to get rid of that because I like that. You know what's going to end up happening is I'm, I'm going to end up putting a foundation under this house just to make it look good. So let us finish these stairs real quick before moving on because we're already at 21 minutes. I might have to move these back because oh. that would have been a great idea. All right. We need to figure this out. Because if you're coming this way and you're going down, I need at least two spaces. And that's not enough room. Hmm. Yeah, that's not enough room. That would have been a that would have been a fantastic idea. However, how am I going to fix that? I have no idea because what what I want is. If I come back here, that's not where I want it to go. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Okay, I need to figure out these stairs. I don't know. I... And plus now I have that problem. That would have worked out so cool. This one across. But I need at least three. So I would have to come down one more. Well, this is the layout. This up here is going to be like a, another living room. I can make another room out of this, but these are going to be the, the open living room. You have a room here, bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three. So it kind of works. I was really hoping that that would work out. Now I gotta, now I gotta figure out something else. There's gonna be huge trees here. Hmm. This area gets opened up. I can put a kitchen in the middle here if I wanted.
think it'll work. But this is the problem that you run into. I wonder if I could get away with maybe putting some half slabs there. Because it, it, I think it was just one. I don't know. Let's see how this looks. And let's see where it came through. Because now we have, we have that. Ooh. It's only one. Really? Hmm. That was not good. So if we come out here... we come out there kind of cool I don't know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to think of your own way that works come in we have an elevator over there we have palm trees and stuff over here we come over here we go up it might work. I don't know. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to play with this. But this you know what instead of instead of just making that like that See, I've kind of built myself into a into a wall here. This is how we will take care of that. Did I change anything on the outside? Yes, it did. So what I'm thinking about doing is, is bringing this all the way across and then bringing it down. Because I can put a whole, a whole floor there. I don't know. That's going to be it for the brainstorming part. I need to figure this. I think that works though. We're going to, we're going to leave that. So let's see if I can, I can fix this here. And then we'll go from there. I can put a half block here and make, and make the transition to the wood floor or whatever I use there. That looks kind of cool. Comes out there and then goes over to here. And then that goes down here. So that'll work. Because there's going to be couches and stuff here. And then you can come out here and you can come out to the beach. You can get access to... Um, the other side over here. Nice. All right. And then I can continue and keep going and have a full basement. So that works out pretty cool. All right. That's going to do it for now because I have to go to work. <laughs> so... But I think it's coming, I think this idea is coming along. I can create, I can make this whole thing over here a kitchen. 
move it on the back wall and have um have a, a island and then this is all usable area nice and then it overlooks this area here with vegetation you have a way to get up and down we are going to take this out i don't know why that just did that i want to save these so if we take that this is what I was I was talking about. Boom. Like that, that. Oh. That don't work. Because that changes that whole thing. can't do that however I know what I can do we're gonna leave that for that like that for right now because these blocks can also be cut in notice how I cut this here half block there's also another block that we take this one here we have this one right here and this one can be why are you doing that like this and then you take your there we go so this one this one's a perfect and it'll go into this corner here and then I could follow that all the way across so I could do something like that too all right so that's going to do it. Hopefully that answered the question about the co the copy and paste. I need to, um, and I need to do something about this flooring. I really like either I'm going to have to take the flooring all the way this way or move it that way or create some kind of boundary where it, it's going to um, separate. You know, kind of like that where you come in here. That's an idea too, but not a full wall and go that route. So we have all that. We have storage everywhere. Go to the top. I don't know. It's getting there. It's getting a little crazy now. I'm going to have to figure some things out because I, I think we can really make this house look kind of cool. But I'm definitely going to make that wall follow. And go out but it's going to be for a third level i don't know i'm sure everybody will let me know if it uh how bad it looks or how good it looks or if i mess things up i think it actually made things look cool on the back side like i even had where i had that followed up but it kind of it kind of moved uh it didn't look good because the stairs led to nowhere so that's where we'll leave it. And uh, until next time. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.